hello everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video we are going to solve this nice algebra problem and here we have 3 to the power of n minus 2 to the power of n equals 65 and we will solve this problem for the values of n so the very first thing we are going to do is here first we will rewrite this equation as here you have 3 to the power of n and now i can multiply both of the exponents by 2 multiply and divide by 2 and you can write it in this form and similarly here we multiply and divide the exponent of 2 to the power of n and it will become 2 over 2 and this whole equation equals 65 and in the next step uh, we will apply here the nice exponential law and you know about this law if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equal to a to the power of m times of n so now we use here this nice law so uh, according to this law uh, we will uh, write this equation as 3 to the power of n over 2 here i can multiply 1 over 2 by this n and we write this 2 as it is minus similarly here you have 2 to the power of n over 2 and its whole square equals 65 so uh, in the next step you will see here uh, it will becomes the square formula and you know about this formula if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so now we apply here this nice formula on the above term and its above term will become in the form of 3 to the power of n over 2 minus 2 to the power of n over 2 and its whole square into here you have 3 to the power of n over 2 plus 2 to the power of n over 2 and this whole equals 65 so uh, now you see here in the left hand side we have two factors uh, which is 3 to the power of n by 2 minus 2 to the power of n by 2 this is not here and we have 3 to the power of n over 2 plus 2 to the power of n over 2 equals 65 so now we can uh, make uh, two factors in the right hand side and after that we will compare both of the sides uh, so now first i can write its left hand side as it is 3 to the power of n over 2 minus 2 to the power of n over 2 into 3 to the power of n over 2 plus 2 to the power of n over 2 and this whole equation equals here you have 65 and we will write uh, this 65 as 5 times of 35 you know that 5 times of 35 will become 65 so now you compare both of the sides and uh, you see here the first factor is less than the second factor it is less than second factor similarly here you have 5 and 30 and you see here 5 is less than 30 so when you compare both of the sides uh, you equate just the lesser terms and the greater term so uh, here you get 3 to the power of uh, n over 2 plus 2 to the power of n over 2 equals 13 and 3 to the power of n over 2 minus 2 to the power of n over 2 equals 5 so here you compare uh, both of the factors and you write its values in this form and in the next step you see here we have two equations here so this is the equation number one and this is the equation number two so uh, in order to find the values of uh, n uh, here we solve these two exponential equations uh, so uh, here you see that first i will just add equation number one and equation number two so when you add these two equations you will see here uh, these two factors are multiply are cancelled by each other and you get here 3 to the power of n over 2 into 3 to the power of n over 2 when you add these two one here then you get 2 times of uh, 
3 to the power of n over 2 and this whole equals 13 plus 5 will becomes 18 and uh, here you move this 2 in the right hand side and you will get 3 to the power of n over 2 equals 18 over 2 and you know that 2 9s are 18 and we will write here 3 to the power of n over 2 equals 9 and we will write this 9 in the prime factors form and you will get 3 to the power of n over 2 equals 3 square and here you see that the bases on both of the sides are same so that its exponents are equals to each other and we get n over 2 equals 2 so when we move this 2 in the right hand side then you will get here n equals 4 so this is the uh, first uh, solution of this problem and uh, when you uh, subtract these two equations then mm, you will get its value in the form of I can uh, write it here so uh, when you subtract these two values then you see here we will change the signs in this form and you can see here these two are cancelled and we add these two ones so when you can add these two one then you get here two times of two to the power of n over two equals here you have 13 minus 5 and 13 minus 5 uh, will be equals to equals to 8 and when we move this 2 in the right hand side then you get here 2 to the power of n over 2 equals 8 over 2 so 8 over 2 will becomes 4 and uh, we will write 4 as 2 square so here you see that bases on both of the sides are same so that its exponents are equals to each other and here uh, you get n over 2 equals 2 and we move this and uh, this 2 in the right hand side then it will becomes n equals 4 so this shows that uh, there is only one uh, root which is equals to n equals 4 be the uh, only solution which is satisfied the over given question statement so uh, here we can say that uh, n equal to 4 be the only solution of this problem and this solution uh, be the unique solution so this is the our final conclusion and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos